Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to create top 10 plus others category in your Power BI visualization. So let's get start. If you can see, uh, I have this visual on Power BI desktop version where I'm showing total orders in dollars by province. And in this particular visual, we have all the provinces listed. And now what we want is we want to show let's say top seven provinces and rest of the provinces uh, will be some as others so how are we going to do that uh, definitely there could be limitations in terms of how your power bi dashboard has been set up in terms of data modeling okay so if i show you my data model here so if you can see i have certain dimension tables one fact table uh, some of the dimension tables are being uh, connected with each other so this is technically a snow flag schema and i have uh, a separate dimension table name as province which is being uh, has been built a relationship with the customers table where the province is there as well so this is my uh, basically snow flag schema and this is my data model okay so let me guide you how to do that so I will come in the table view where I have a table name as province and in this particular table we just have one column uh, named as province and this is a dimension table so all the names are unique okay now what we are required here the first uh, calculation we need to perform is to have a new column here and we will uh, rank each of the province so let's do it I will click on new column define the name rank underscore or any other name you would like to give so we will be using a DAX called rank X and we will add all and we will say that go to the province table okay so defining a table name then we will pick an explicit measure that is total orders this is basically a sum of order amount column from the orders table that is a fact table so we have already an explicit measure uh, that is total orders and then we will be applying uh, order as uh, descending and let's close the bracket so now it gives us a rank based on the total orders for each of the province and it's providing a uh, rank for one two three i mean highest to lowest values okay so as you can see here let me sort that so one two three four five like so we have a total of 12 provinces right and what we need is we need just to show top seven and remaining will be in the others okay so we will be doing a certain change here let's do that so let's first define name as others for now and let me remove this and we'll say this is a variable and let's add equal sign okay uh, name of the variable will be rank underscore all right then return if this variable rank underscore is less than equals to seven then province table province column and write others for the remaining so let's close the bracket so now as you can see i have modified this particular province falls in top seven it's giving that name otherwise for for the remaining it, it's showing me the others right now let's go to report view and let me uh let's drag the province here so we we can see all the provinces all the 12 provinces here uh, let me do a bit formatting for this the field called province from the province table and total orders but we have created a, a calculated column for others so when i drag here so as you can see now uh, we have the others as well so what we're gonna do is we will not take this particular field but the others one from the calculated column and you can see now we have the others we have top seven provinces and the others as well and if i change this 
into a clustered bar chart let's say okay let's do a bit for matting for this so now as you can see here we have the top seven uh, provinces but we have the others in in the middle of this particular visual and we want others to be every time at, at the last at the bottom of this visual not in between so how are we going to resolve this issue because others is coming in the middle of this particular visualization and we want to uh, move it to the downwards so here we'll be adding so we will be adding one more uh, column here okay so let's add a new column but before adding a new column let me copy this entire dax that will work for us and click on new column let's paste this and let's name as rename this as for sorting okay and what we need to change here is in just this rank underscore and 99 now what this particular logic will do here let me explain you so uh, these are the provinces which are fall in top seven based on the total orders and others has been assigned as 99 so what we're going to do is we will be sorting this particular column based on the these numbers okay and that how our visualization get uh, sorted so what i gonna do is i will select this others column then i will go to sort by column and i will click on sorting so each of the province has been assigned this particular number on the back end right and when i go to my visual and now i can click on the options and sort access by others and let's say sending so now here you can see uh, the others is not coming in between of this visual but uh, others is now at, at the bottom of this visual that's what we wanted right so this is how we have uh, solved this issue for top end and creating the others category if you want to modify this um, i mean you can go here and instead of seven you can write five or three i mean whatever you want okay but make sure one more thing is that sometimes on the front end on the dashboard we need to create a slicer there and we need to increase or decrease the number so in that scenario the logic will get changed okay so this is one of the solution which i am trying to explain you in this particular video okay 